LaDonna Adrian Gaines, December 31, 1948 May 17, 2012, known professionally as Donna Summer, was an American singer, songwriter, and actress. She gained prominence during the disco era of the 1970s and became known as the Queen of Disco, while her music gained a global following. Early Life Donna Summer rocketed to international superstardom in the mid-1970s when her groundbreaking merger of R&B, soul, pop, funk, rock, disco, and avant-garde electronica catapulted underground dance music out of the clubs of Europe to the pinnacles of sales and radio charts around the world. Maintaining an unbroken string of hits throughout the 70s and 80s, most of which she wrote, Donna holds the record for most consecutive double albums to hit number one on the Billboard charts and first female to have four number one singles in a 12-month period three as a solo artist and one as a duo with Barbara Streisand. A five-time Grammy winner, Donna Summer was the first artist to win the Grammy for Best Rock Vocal Performance, Female, 1979, Hot Stuff, as well as the first ever recipient of the Grammy for Best Dance Recording, 1997, Carry On. In 2004, she became one of the first inductees, as both an artist inductee and a record inductee, for 1977's I Feel Love, into the Dance Music Hall of Fame in New York City. Born Donna Gaines on New Year's Eve to a large family in Boston, she developed an early interest in music. From the age of eight, Summer sang in church choirs and citywide choruses, and by her early twenties, was performing in musical theater in Germany, winning parts in such highly acclaimed shows as Hair, Showboat, God's Pal, and Porgy and Bess as well as performing with the Viennese folk opera. She released her first single, a cover of the Janet's Girl Group classic, Sally Go Round the Roses, in 1971. While singing backup, she met producers Giorgio Moroder and Pete Bellotta who produced her first single, Hostage, which became a hit in the Netherlands, France, and Belgium. In 1975, Moroder and Bellotta produced the international hit, Love to Love You Baby, which rose to number two on the Billboard Hot 100 and triggered Summer's triumphant return to the United States as a key figure of the then-emerging disco genre. Love to Love You Baby paved the way for such international hits as MacArthur Park, Bad Girls, Hot Stuff, Dim All the Lights, On the Radio, and Enough is Enough, as well as the Grammy and Academy Award-winning theme song Last Dance, from the film Thank God It's Friday, which remains a milestone in Donna's career. In 1980, Summer became the first artist to sign with David Jeffen's new label, Jeffen Records, leaving her disco days behind and moving into the next phase of her career. In the years that followed, Summer collaborated with writers and producers such as Quincy Jones, Michael Omartian, and England's dance pop production compound Stock Aitken Waterman and produced a steady stream of hits from State of Independence, featuring Michael Jackson on backing vocals, to the abiding feminist anthem She Works Hard for the Money, one of the most played songs of all time, and the infectious This Time I Know It's For Real. In 1994, she released Endless Summer, a greatest hits retrospective containing a new song, Melody of Love which became Billboard's number one dance record of the year. She also released the critically acclaimed gem Christmas Spirit, a collection of Summer's original songs and holiday standards recorded with the Nashville Symphony Orchestra. Summer spent the 90s continuing to tour, performing to sold-out audiences worldwide. In 1997, when the new Best Dance Recording category was created at the Grammy Awards, Donna Summer was the first winner with her fifth career Grammy Award for Carry On. In 1999, Sony Slash Epic Records released VH1 Presents Donna Summer, Live and More, Encore, an album and DVD of Summer's critically acclaimed VH1 broadcast taped at New York's Hammerstein Ballroom. The show premiered on VH1 as one of the network's highest rated shows to date and featured live performances of Summer's top hits. In addition to her five Grammy Awards, Summer has won six American Music Awards, three consecutive number one platinum double albums, she's the only solo artist, male or female ever to accomplish this, 11 gold albums, 4 number 1 singles on Billboard's Hot 100 chart, 3 platinum singles, and 12 gold singles. Summer is also the first female artist to have a number 1 single and number 1 album on the Billboard charts simultaneously, Live and More, MacArthur Park 1978, a feat she also repeated 6 months later, Bad Girls and Hot Stuff in 1979. She has charted 33 top 10 hits on the combined Billboard Disco Slash Dance Slash Dance Club Slash Play charts over a period of 37 years with 18 reaching the number one spot solidifying her as the undisputed queen of dance. In addition to her recording and performing career, 
Summer is an accomplished visual artist whose work has been shown at exhibitions worldwide including Steven Spielberg's Starbright Foundation Tour of Japan and the Whitney Museum as well as a prestigious engagement at Sotheby's in New York. Since 1989, she has sold over $1.7 million in original art, with her highest piece going for $150,000. In 2003, Random House published her autobiography Ordinary Girl, co-authored with Mark Elliott. Also that year, Universal released The Journey, containing all of her original hits, as well as two new songs. In 2008, celebrating four decades of milestones, Summer adds another accomplishment to her list with the success of her new album Crayons. The album debuted at number 17 on the Billboard Top 200 chart making it Summer's highest debuting album ever. It also debuted at number 5 on the Billboard R&B chart, another personal best. Crayons is Summer's first album of all new studio material in 17 years and is her highest charting album since she works hard for the money in 1983. To date, the album has spawned three number one dance hits I May Fire, Stamp Your Feet and Fame, The Game, Dot. It is estimated that Summer has sold more than 130 million records worldwide. Ranked number 24 on Billboard magazine's 50th anniversary issues Hot 100 Artists of All Time, Donna Summer was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame on April 18, 2013 in Los Angeles. Donna Summer rocketed to international superstardom in the mid-1970s when her groundbreaking merger of R&B, soul, pop, funk, rock, disco and avant-garde electronica catapulted underground dance music out of the clubs of Europe to the pinnacles of sales and radio charts around the world. Maintaining an unbroken string of hits throughout the 70s and 80s, most of which she wrote, Donna holds the record for most consecutive double albums to hit number one on the Billboard charts and first female to have four number one singles in a 12-month period, three as a solo artist and one as a duo with Barbara Streisand. A five-time Grammy winner, Donna Summer was the first artist to win the Grammy for Best Rock Vocal Performance, Female, 1979, Hot Stuff, as well as the first ever recipient of the Grammy for Best Dance Recording, 1997, Carry On. In 2004, she became one of the first inductees, as both an artist inductee and a record inductee, for 1977's I Feel Love, into the Dance Music Hall of Fame in New York City. Born Donna Gaines on New Year's Eve to a large family in Boston, she developed an early interest in music. From the age of eight, Summer sang in church choirs and citywide choruses, and by her early twenties, was performing in musical theater in Germany, winning parts in such highly acclaimed shows as Hair, Showboat, God's Pal, and Porgy and Bess as well as performing with the Viennese folk opera. She released her first single, a cover of the Janet's Girl Group classic, Sally Go Round the Roses, in 1971. While singing backup, she met producers Giorgio Moroder and Pete Bellotta who produced her first single, Hostage, which became a hit in the Netherlands, France and Belgium. In 1975, Moroder and Bellotta produced the international hit, Love to Love You Baby, which rose to number two on the Billboard Hot 100 and triggered Summer's triumphant return to the United States as a key figure of the then emerging disco genre. Love to Love You Baby paved the way for such international hits as MacArthur Park, Bad Girls, Hot Stuff, Dim All the Lights, On the Radio, and Enough is Enough, as well as the Grammy and Academy Award winning theme song Last Dance, from the film Thank God It's Friday, which remains a milestone in Donna's career. In 1980, Summer became the first artist to sign with David Jeffen's new label, Jeffen Records, leaving her disco days behind and moving into the next phase of her career. In the years that followed, Summer collaborated with writers and producers such as Quincy Jones, Michael Omartian, and England's dance pop production compound Stock Aitken Waterman and produced a steady stream of hits from State of Independence, featuring Michael Jackson on backing vocals, to the abiding feminist anthem She Works Hard for the Money, one of the most played songs of all time and the infectious This Time I Know It's For Real. In 1994, she released Endless Summer, a greatest hits retrospective containing a new song, Melody of Love, which became Billboard's number one dance record of the year. She also released the critically acclaimed gem Christmas Spirit, a collection of Summer's original songs and holiday standards recorded with the Nashville Symphony Orchestra. Summer spent the 90s continuing to tour, performing to sold-out audiences worldwide. In 1997, when the new Best Dance Recording category was created at the Grammy Awards, Donna Summer was the first winner with her fifth career Grammy Award for Carry On. In 1999, Sony Slash Epic Records released VH1 Presents Donna Summer, Live and More, Encore, an album and DVD of Summer's critically acclaimed VH1 broadcast taped at New York's Hammerstein Ballroom. 
The show premiered on VH1 as one of the network's highest rated shows to date and featured live performances of Summer's top hits. In addition to her five Grammy Awards, Summer has won six American Music Awards, three consecutive number one platinum double albums, she's the only solo artist, male or female, ever to accomplish this, 11 gold albums, four number one singles on Billboard's Hot 100 chart, three platinum singles, and 12 gold singles. Summer is also the first female artist to have a number one single and number one album on the Billboard charts simultaneously, live and more, MacArthur Park 1978, a feat she also repeated six months later, Bad Girls and Hot Stuff in 1979. She has charted 33 top 10 hits on the combined Billboard Disco Slash Dance Slash Dance Club Slash Play charts over a period of 37 years with 18 reaching the number one spot solidifying her as the undisputed queen of dance. In addition to her recording and performing career, Summer is an accomplished visual artist whose work has been shown at exhibitions worldwide including Steven Spielberg's Starbright Foundation Tour of Japan and the Whitney Museum as well as a prestigious engagement at Sotheby's in New York. Since 1989, she has sold over $1.7 million in original art, with her highest piece going for $150,000. In 2003, Random House published her autobiography Ordinary Girl, co-authored with Mark Elliott. Also that year, Universal released The Journey, containing all of her original hits, as well as two new songs. In 2008, celebrating four decades of milestones, Summer adds another accomplishment to her list with the success of her new album Crayons. The album debuted at number 17 on the Billboard Top 200 chart making it Summer's highest debuting album ever. It also debuted at number 5 on the Billboard R&B chart, another personal best. Crayons is Summer's first album of all new studio material in 17 years and is her highest charting album since she works hard for the money in 1983. To date, the album has spawned three number one dance hits I May Fire, Stamp Your Feet and Fame, The Game, Dot. It is estimated that Summer has sold more than 130 million records worldwide. Ranked number 24 on Billboard magazine's 50th anniversary issues Hot 100 Artists of All Time, Donna Summer was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame on April 18, 2013 in Los Angeles. Trivia While living in Germany in the late 60s, she became a regular in the Munich production of the musical Hair. Spoke fluent German. Only person to have guest-hosted Bandstand, 1952. Was the first solo artist in history to have three consecutive number one double albums on the Billboard charts. The only other musical act to accomplish this feat was the Beatles was also an exhibited artist. She sold over $1.2 million in original art beginning in 1989, her most expensive piece sold for $150,000. Her orgasmic 16-minute song Love to Love You Baby was the first extended release single, the mother of all dance maxi singles. She charted 30 number one hits, singles and albums, on the Billboard Pop slash R&B Disco slash Dance, album charts combined, over a period of 33 years. In the summer of 1979 she became the first female artist in music history to have two hits in the Billboard Top 3 at the same time, with Hot Stuff and Bad Girls. She did it again in the fall with a number one duet with Barbara Streisand and a number two hit, Dim All the Lights. She and writer-slash-producers Giorgio Moroder and Pete Bellotta created an electronic, dance-driven sound that was the forerunner of today's techno music. Upon hearing the 1977 song I Feel Love, Iggy Pop declared it the future of music. Samples still continue today, most notably in Madonna's 2000 hit single Music. Bruce Springsteen, a great admirer of hers, wrote two songs for her. The first one, Cover Me, he decided to use on his Born in the USA LP. The second song, Protection, Donna recorded and Springsteen and band supplied the music track. Donna and Bruce actually recorded the song as a duet, but that version has never been released. Ranked number 37 on VH1's Greatest Women of Rock and Roll. Held the most ranked dance songs on VH1's 100 Greatest Dance Songs with MacArthur Park at number 89, I Feel Love number 76, Love to Love You Baby number 63 and Last Dance at number 6. Sister of Mary Ellen Bernard and Ricky Gaines. Cited her 1978 hit Last Dance as her favorite of her own past recordings. Became a grandmother in 1997 when daughter Mimi gave birth to a baby girl, Vienna Duller. Daughter of Andrew Gaines and Mary Ellen Gaines was one of seven children, she had five sisters and one brother. Ranked number 80 on VH1's 100 Sexiest Artists In 1978 she became the first female artist in history to have a number one single, MacArthur Park, and a number one album, 
live and more, simultaneously on the Billboard charts. She broke her own record just a few months later when her single Hot Stuff and the album Bad Girls both reached the number one position on the Billboard charts at the same time. In 1979 she was nominated for five American Music Awards and won three, Favorite Pop Slash Rock Female Artist, nominated, Favorite Soul Slash R&B Female Artist, nominated, Favorite Disco Artist Female, won, Favorite Disco Album, Live and More, won, Favorite Disco Single, Last Dance, won. In 1980 she was nominated for four American Music Awards and won three, Favorite Pop Slash Rock Female Artist, won, Favorite Pop Slash Rock Album, Bad Girls, nominated, Favorite Pop Slash Rock Single, Bad Girls, won, Favorite Soul Slash R&B Artist, won. Ranked at number 24 on Billboard magazine's 50th anniversary issue featuring the Hot 100 Artists of All Time. Nominated in 2008 for the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame has won five Grammy Awards with a career total of 18 nominations. She was awarded a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame for recording at 7000 Hollywood Boulevard in Hollywood, California. Her grave is located in Harpeth Hills Memory Gardens, a cemetery in Nashville, Tennessee. Was posthumously inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame on April 18, 2013. Gave birth to her first child at age 24, a daughter Mimi Sommer on February 16, 1973. Child's father is her now ex-first husband, Helmuth Sommer. Gave birth to her second child at age 32, a daughter Brooklyn Sudano on January 5, 1981. Child's father is her now widowed second husband, Bruce Sudano. Gave birth to her third child at age 33, a daughter Amanda Sudano on August 11, 1982. Child's father is her now widowed second husband, Bruce Sudano. She was known to be a very private person. Met musician and songwriter Nathan DeGisare in 1994. He went on to become one of Summer's most frequent collaborators, both in the studio and on tour. They continued to work together until her death. Before her death, she was believed to have caught lung cancer by inhaling toxic particles following the 9-11's terrorist attacks in New York. Was friends with Diana Ross, Dick Clark, and Barry Manilow. She was a lifelong Democrat. Often cited Mahalia Jackson and Janis Joplin as two of her greatest musical influences. Her nephew Robert Grant is a rapper who goes by the stage name Omega Red. Death Summer died on May 17, 2012 at age 63, after a years-long battle with cancer. Known as the Queen of Disco, Summer will be remembered as perhaps the greatest singer in disco history. But she was so much more, a vocalist of incredible range and power whose voice was equally at home in German-language show tunes racy disco dance tracks and powerful gospel ballads. Not long before her death, Summer said that her foremost life aspiration was not related her singing. What I aspire to in my life, truly, is to be loving, she said. And I don't always achieve that, but that's my aspiration. Don't forget to subscribe to this my YouTube channel and share this video. Thank you for watching and please continue to support me.